this is my Tiny Hawk 2, and this is what I did to get it connected to my radio running access firmware. First, you're going to have to take off the camera that it comes with. I already undid the screws and the connection. Pull that out. And what I did is installed this uh, FreeSky X-XSR receiver. And you can see my connections in here. Negative, positive, and S port. And I was actually able to solder them in there with a fine tip soldering iron without taking the control board out. That's the order you need them in. Your S bus all the way over here on the right. Positive in the middle and negative on the left. If you're familiar with the Tiny Hawk, you'll notice that this is actually supposed to be the front of the quad. However, after installing the XS XSR in this position, you're going to have to reverse the camera and the camera will face reversed. I'll show you how to make the changes on your radio to make that work later. Now the receiver is on here and you can see the zip tie over top. I also have some good quality silicone based double sided tape underneath. Actually kind of falls right into that position very nicely. Gives it a good clean setup. And then over top here is the old receiver wire. And you can see the two new receiver wires going through this hole in the frame, which is actually really convenient because on the bottom side, you can wrap them around both receiver wires in the same positions where these LED strips are. Falls underneath one of the clips in here, and I've got pieces of tape, clear tape holding it in place here, 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 and here. Actually surprisingly convenient that it worked out that well. So after you have your receiver soldered in, actually an important note about the receiver too, is your S bus wire needs to come out of this socket. This one here, I've tried it before, looked up the schematics, had to do some research because it wasn't connecting, I wasn't able to bind. You need it in this slot here. So after that's all wired up, you can put your camera back in. Let's see if I can get it, it's a little tricky. And then, like I said, the camera is actually going to be facing the reverse direction. So this is supposed to be the front of the quad. And this is the back of the quad with its factory setup. And I'll show you in my radio. The changes I made. So on your model, go over, oh, go into the model. Go to the fifth page, and then you can see the aileron and elevator are both at negative 100. So you can edit those. Initially, they're going to be at positive. Edit, and it's down here, the weight. So initially, the weight is like this at positive 100. So when you give inputs, it's going the same direction. Change that to a negative 100 on both of them and that will allow you to fly the quad in a reverse direction but giving typical stick inputs. I hope this is helpful to you, allow you to run the Tiny Hawk 2 with any modern receiver running XS or ACCST. It's a really fun little quad, great for indoor flying, bounce it off the walls, takes a ton of abuse. I've had a lot of fun with it. The final important step to take is configuring the quad in Betaflight. Uh, I actually found another video on YouTube that showed me the changes I needed to make 
to allow the flight controller to be operated by the external receiver. I will link that video below.